Hi everyone, this is Mr. Crokeland here. Today I want to show you how to build a switch plate cover. First, open Fusion 360. Make sure that you are on a new design. And let's begin to build. The first step is to create the rectangle. You'll go sketch, rectangle, two point. Now you have to choose one of the three dimensional work planes. I'll choose that one. You can choose whichever. It doesn't matter for this activity. And now I need to begin with my first point. Now I clicked and I'm dragging out. Don't click again just yet because you want to enter your values. If you notice down below the width is 2.20 ish right now but I want to change that to 3. And now I'm going to hit my tab button on the keyboard, tab. And now it changes to the other input value. That input value needs to be 5.5 inches. So this will measure 3 inches by 5.5 inches. And now I hit return. I want to center this. I can go down here to fit. And then I can just zoom out with my roller on my mouse. This next step involves placing the center opening and the two circles, as you can see in my sample here. To do this, we'll begin by drawing a rectangle. Sketch, rectangle, two points. I'm going to place this rectangle anywhere in here. I'm going to go like this and like that. So this time, I've just created a rectangle. doesn't matter the dimension. Now we're going to add dimensions to it. Adding dimensions to any shape is easy. You go to Sketch again. Down here, Sketch Dimension. Now you notice the quick key shortcuts here. L for line, T for trim, and so forth. D is for dimension. So I could just escape out of this and just hit the letter D on the keyboard, and it will start the dimension function. I'm going to click on this line, and then I'm going to click on this line, and I'm going to drag this up to here. It's waiting for a value. The width of this opening is 0.42 inches. Now I hit Enter. Now I'll hit the letter D again, and I'll choose this time, this line, and this line. And this value is 0.94. Hit enter. Now you notice we have the correct size rectangle, but now we need to place this rectangle in the correct location, centered in this larger rectangle. To do this is actually pretty easy. Again, I want to be in the sketch dimension. Or I click D, and now I want to click on this one and this one. I select, it's waiting for a value. This value is 1.29. Now do you see how this moved? And it brought with it this line, too, because if we, we've already locked in this line's length as 0.42. Now, let's figure out where this box needs to be located in the vertical position. Sketch dimension, or D, and I'm going to click uh, here and here, because I want this distance over here. This distance is 2.28. So here's how I derived this value of 
I took 5.5 and I subtracted 0.94. Then I divided that by 2. So let's try it. 5.5 minus 0.94 equals 4.56 divided by 2 and that's 2.28 2.28 and that's what we have here. Next, we need to make the holes that the bolts will go through to fasten the faceplate to the wall outlet. First, I'm going to clean up this drawing a little bit. The dimensions that are on here, I no longer need. So I'm going to select and delete all these dimensions. Just to get them out of here. There, that's better. This is nice and clean. The holes need to be located an exact distance away from one another and a specific distance from the center. To do that, I'm going to put some lines on that are called construction lines. The lines that are on here now are called object lines. But to help us draw object lines, we sometimes need construction lines. To do this, you just draw a line anywhere. I'll draw one out here and then right click on the line and you can change it from normal object line to construction line just like that. A construction line has dashed lines. Okay let me delete this and let's add our construction lines here. I'm going to select the line and now I need to go from the very center, I'm going to zoom in, from the very center of this. So I'm going to go along this line here until I get the triangle, and then I'm going to go out, and I need to find the center here, but it's not giving me anything. So if I go up here and just touch this line, and then go down, and I go back touch this line, there, it gives me the center point. You have to kind of play with that feature a little bit. But again, you're going to go over here, find the center, and then you'll go up here and touch this line, find the center of it, and then just come down and you can see where it gives you the intersect of those two areas. I'm going to select and I'm going to go up. The value is 1.19 inches. I right click and I'm going to change this to construction line. Now I'm going to do the same below. Line. I'm going to go down here. I'm not clicking again but I'm entering 1.19 my value. Now I select the line, right click, and construction. Now that we have our construction lines, we can put the circles for the hole at the very end of those lines. So if I go to circle, center diameter, and now I'm going to use the end of that line, I'm going to drag out, the diameter is 0.25 inches. I'm going to do the circle command again, drag it out, 0.25. Now I'm done with those construction lines, I can select them and delete, just like that. I hit Stop Sketch, and there is my drawing. The next step is to make our drawing 3D. Right now it's two-dimensional. To do that, I'm going to select in this area, right-click, extrude. The extrusion of this is 0.25 inches. That will be the thickness. And there is our wall plate.
Next, let's put some finishing touches on our wall plate. First, I want to put something called a chamfer on the edge of the holes. To do this, I select the edge, I right click, and I go to chamfer. The value will be 0.1 inches, and there you can see with our chamfer applied what it does. The screw will fit in here nice and flush. So let's go to the other hole and we'll do the same. Select it, right click the edge, choose chamfer, 0.1 inches. There, that's looking very nice. Now let's dress up the edge of the wall plate. I'm going to select this edge, I'm going to hold the shift key, and I'm going to select this edge, this edge, and this edge. Holding the shift key allows me to select multiple edges. I'm going to go over one of the edges, right click, and I'm going to do something called a fillet, which is just a round over. This round over will also be 0.1 inches. And I hit return, and that's it. Our wall plate is now complete.